Hey, welcome guys, Robin here. Uh, I'm doing your daily tarot card reading. This is gonna be for Tuesday, May 31st. And I will be using the, uh, just the amazing Starman tarot card deck. I know a couple of you that are on my channel, you went and purchased this deck and you just absolutely love it the same way that I do. So anyway, guys, this is gonna be your general reading. Hope you guys really enjoy and remember to type out a comment. Say hi, let me know where you're from in the world. So <clears throat> I'm gonna pull a card from the good tarot to see what's good today really want to focus on the bright side of life lately so I was guided to start pulling cards from the good tarot to help you guys out like at the beginning of your reading so we do have the five of fire okay so something that's really beautiful about this deck it can take cards that are really angsty and and grumbly and turn them into something I need to clear my throat hold on guys anyway so it takes the energy of these really sort of cringeworthy cards and turns them into something that is, it looks on the elevated side, okay? So the five of fire, it really is related to minding your own business, like don't pick fights, like really uh, watching divine and perfect timing when it comes to pitching a new idea or asking somebody out, like something like that. But here you have with the five of fire, like she's just really minding her own business and just waiting for things to open, okay? so. You can have an idea. You could really want to discuss something with somebody. You could want to pitch your next idea or ask that person out on a date, okay? So you can have that in your mind and then ask the universe to show you the exact moment where broaching that subject is going to have the optimum result for you, okay? So you can have this intention and just sit on it for a little while. Uh, <laughs> and one of my guides said, and rotate, but that's just not cool, okay? So I love that my guides have such a wicked sense of humor, but anyway, so I don't want you guys to sit and rotate. I don't think that's very nice. <laughs> so set your intention for whatever it is that you want, and you will have that gut feeling um, when it's the right time to pursue it. It's the best thing to have, you know, your your little speech prepared, you know, you can visualize things, how it's gonna go, and then voila, that moment moment will be a, a, will arrive, and then you'll be so glad that you have this rehearsal and the patience to be able to get to where this is right now. So this is the two of cups. So you waited really patiently for that window to arrive and the Starman Tarot does things a little bit differently. So it shows a little bit of a, a hole in the wall. You, you know, this is where you can see the light shining through. Okay, this is my opportunity. I'm, I'm gonna ride it. <sighs> okay, let's just move on. So, and now you have the two of cups here. So this is being super well received. This is that relationship going to the next level. This is being like embraced by your boss or that person that you asked out. Like whatever it was that you had the, the wherewithal and the stamina and the patience and the understanding that things have to happen at the exact right moment for them to play out according to the way that you visualize them, okay? So patience really is a virtue, okay? So... And also being prepared, like, what am I going to say when that moment arrives? And, you know, like, what am I going to be wearing? Like, it all really matters. I heard Beyonce talking, like, not like she popped by or anything, but she was in a video and she said her best concerts go when she sits and visualizes. Oh, I just bit my tongue. I do that so often. Um, visualizes like how it's gonna go like her every move so this is a preparation it's not a waste of time to sit and meditate on what that's going to look like my tongue really hurts but anyway so we have the temperance card here too and it's saying just take it easy okay there's like do you want to scare away your opportunity it's like have you ever tried to chase a rabbit it's not very successful they run away so sometimes if you sit in stillness, the opportunity or the rabbit will come towards you, okay? So this is how we operate in the world. We have that 
sense of composure and that sense of self with the temperance card. You don't have to be too elevated. You don't have to get down on yourself. You just have to have the patience to know like really when to strike, okay? You will know when the iron is hot and that's an old wives tale or phrase or whatever. And then you strike when the iron is hot. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna go. <laughs> Take care, bye.